Hello everyone, it's Gigi and I have a collective haul for you guys. First I'm going to start with um, Hobby Lobby. So I decided to redo my kitchen. It was nautical and I changed it to sunflowers and bees. And so this is one of the things that I got. Um, it says there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy and I think it's beautiful. Um, and as you see in the background, I also got this um, to go in there, um, some of the stuff. Um, most of the stuff I've already hung, because it, and it was big, it's not something I can really share. Um, I also got this table runner. It is so pretty. So on each side of the table runner at the end, it has this um, embroidered design. I absolutely love it. It is so pretty. So I got that at Hobby Lobby. And then on the clearance stuff, I found some eyelets in rose gold. I thought they were so pretty, especially for 62 cents. And you get 48 pieces. That was a really good deal. And then I found this three yard trim that was regular $8.99 for $2.24. And I have this in other colors, but I didn't have yellow. And so I grabbed this. It is so pretty. And then I found this um, two yard for $0.99, cents, regular $3.99. And this is in rose gold. Very pretty. And then I found this trim that was $7.99 for $1.99 and it's two yards of this really pretty sequin. And I have this in another color that I had gotten. So very pretty. And then they have their trims 50% off. And I have been wanting this. So it is a Rick Rack Multicolor regular $1.99. So I got it for 99 cents. And I just think it's really pretty. And that was everything that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then, um, Tina Bean had received a bunny as a gift and I really wanted that bunny and so <laughs> I had asked my husband I was like babe can I get an Easter bunny for Easter and he was like babe we have cats and I was laughing so hard guys he thought I literally wanted an Easter bunny for Easter and I was like, babe, no, it's stuffed. <laughs> I was like, it's not real. It's a handmade item. And he was like, yeah, you can get one. And so I ordered one. Or he ordered one, I should say. And guys, it came. It is so pretty. She is amazing. It came from Etsy. Her name is Eileen Eichemann. The Etsy shop is called Whimsical Critters on Etsy. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description box. She is awesome. And then she sent me this beautiful trim. So pretty. I love it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna leave her information down in the description box in case you're interested. She sells other items and she makes them to order. I got to pick um, whether or not, here it is. She is so gorgeous and she's so soft. She's made out of chenille. I got to pick whether I wanted lace or um, seam binding as the ribbon here. So I chose seam binding. And then you get to pick whether you want a button or a bead for the eye. And I wanted a bead. And then she shows this pretty little button right here with this little flower. 
And then there's this little, um, right here, she does the um, little safety pin with this paper and then she glitters it up. It's so pretty. And then she puts the like blush on the rabbit and look at the nose, so cute. Such detail. It is so gorgeous. I love it, guys. It is so cute. She was such a sweet lady. She has excellent customer service. So if you're interested, she has other items in her shop. Like, I am so going to order a Raggedy Ann from her. So you will see me order something else from her in the future, near future. Um, and then, Sybil B. Hi, Sybil. She had shown about this magic mesh. Um, and I saw it a little late, I guess, because um, the pink was already gone on eBay. But I got this teal. It's self-adhesive magic mesh that you can use on your cards. And um, so I got the teal. I need to find the pink. So if any of y'all can help me out finding it, that would be awesome. So I got that on eBay. And then on um, Amazon, I got this Vintage One Step Looper for jewelry making. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but it had really good reviews. And I see all of y'all doing the One Step Looper and it helps make really pretty loops. So I wanted to have one in my stash. So I got that. And then I did a haul from a seller on YouTube. And I wanted some of the stuff from Sweet Story from Maggie Holmes because from what I understand it's retiring. And I did not have the stickers. So I got the stickers and one of them is cameras. And the other one is the fruits. Really cute. So I got that. Um, I also got this six by eight pad. Let me show you real quick. So cute. And it has the gold foiling in the six by eight. And I ha only had the 12 by 12. So it's just fun. I think it'll be fun to do um, some rosettes. So I got that. And then I got the layered stickers, the uh, butterflies. I think they're so pretty. Look at them sparkle. So I got those. What else did I get from Sweet Story? Okay, I got the um, sticker book. So you get this sheet. Look at the B. And you get labels. And then you get black and white. And you get these with the ponies and the bows and the rainbows. So cute. The florals, the ladybugs. Look at all the bees. Alphas some designs, and then the words in different colors. So got that, and then I got the sticker sheet. I love that goose. I love the basket with the berries, that's cute, the roller skate. I love that pony. Look at the lemon soda. So that's fun. And then I picked up the carousel sticker sheet. Because you know I love carousel. I love that cotton candy. OK, 
Okay, and then I picked up uh, Magical Forest. Let me show y'all. I think it's so cute. I love the rose gold. Look at the strawberries. So pretty. It's like one of my favorite elements, I think, in this. The florals. I love the colors of this pad. Look at the mushrooms. That would be fun with some um, gnomes. Hearts are cute. Stars. So that's it. And then I got the puffy stickers in that one. So I thought they were so cute. I love the strawberries. And then I picked up some ribbon, the Maggie ribbon. And I picked up this white um, glitter ribbon. I picked up some eyelets in purple, different shades, if you can tell. And then I picked up the metallic eyelets. And some of these have, um, there's flowers in here and stars. I'm trying to get more eyelets so I can do stuff. Um, Cause I don't, I don't really have any colors. And then as a thank you, she sent me this Heidi Swap. And then she also sent me um, this yellow it's called i do not know what that it's mint glitter mint and this one right here that is called glitter cardstock just says special it's like a pink and i don't know what this design is called but she sent me that and then I did a yo, yo, I did a Joann's haul. Um, they had 50% off like everything. So I got my favorite watercolor paper, um, the Tim Holtz Distress watercolor cardstock. So I got that 50% off. And then I wanted some more Distress Oxide Spray. So I got these two. Um, can I see the color? Let's see what colors I got. Let's check it out. So I only have two right now. I got Mermaid Lagoon and Wilted Violet. And they look like that. Really pretty. And I'm going to do a project with those. Then I picked up some adhesive gems and all these pretty colors. I like using those on flowers. And then I picked up the Tim Holtz worn wallpaper scraps that just came out. And they are gorgeous. So you got the ephemera plus you get the paper. So you get um, 49 pieces it says you get 25 by 8 sheets and 29 die cuts really cute this is what all you get love it I love getting his uh, wallpaper stuff and then I picked up a card kit a card kit a um, magazine kit and let me show you what came I opened it so I could check it out and I didn't realize that you got two stamp sets in this one so you get this one 
which is so cute. I love the Genji. And you get this little Genji right here, as well as all this other stuff, which is amazing. It also came with a sheet of sentiments and this big old hot cocoa mug. But look at all those sentiments, guys. That is awesome. I love it. So it was well worth the $20 I think it cost because these are kind of pricey. And then you get the magazine, of course, and it showed a whole bunch of different ideas and it tells you how to make this tree right here, this card. So I got that. And then the last two things I got were two 12 by 12 paper pads. And I had seen one on Anna White's. Hi, Anna, if you're watching. She showed this cotton fields and I just thought it was so pretty. Let me show you. So, and it has um, glitter and foil. Very pretty. See the glitter? Really pretty. Look at that, it has the glitter inside the flower. Oh, I love that. And then the wood grain. And there's more glitter. And look at all those cut aparts, those tags. And the wood grain again. More wood grain. Look at those birds, so pretty. Oh, I love those. Butterflies, look at this, pretty. That's pretty. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love this one. And there you are. So that's Cotton Fields. And then this last one I saw on Tina Bean's channel. Um, it's called Preserved Paper. And this one has gold foiling. really pretty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And look at the back of this paper. So pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. I, oh my gosh, I like both of these. Look at that. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, I love that blue. Okay, this is hard. I like them all. Very pretty. I like this pink. Oh, this is so pretty. I like how it's vintage looking. It's very vintage. Vintage and shabby. That's really pretty. Look at this with the roses and the gold foiling and the music notes. I love that. Oh, that's pretty. Look at all those tags. This is pretty with polka dots. In the back it has like some writing. I love that. More vintage. Looks tea dyed. This teal blue is pretty and it has, <clears throat> excuse me, that writing again. Oh, I like this one, the script. Look at all that gold foiling. Very pretty. I really love this paper pad. Very pretty. 
Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I hope y'all have a great weekend. Love you guys. Bye.